This video is an update to the video titled Kerr Metric 1. That contains a correction to slide 9 in the original concerning the weak field approximation. So on slide 9 there'll be a change and just to remind you where we are, the Kerr Metric 1 video started with a spherical distribution of mass uniformly rotating and I won't go through these slides again but just this is the particular video I'm referring to. Let me keep going up here. We start to look at the slowly rotating mass in a, uh, in a Schwarzschild case by adding on to the Schwarzschild metric this term here for the case of a slowly rotating source. And then we keep going um, and describing some of the parts of that extra term here, the J, how this can be broken down on the end here. These terms here, just to remind you where we were. And then over here, the changes, and only on this slide here, and we're looking at the weak field case where 2GM on the C squared R is much less than one. So we have the weak field case, then we make the approximation that this, this is the coefficient of the DR squared term down here. And in the Schwarzschild case, what we're going to do in the weak field where this is much less than one, this object equal to this is then equal to one plus two gm on c squared r. Now originally I had minus here, um, but uh, and that that would still be roughly uh, equal. It's rough, uh, be very rough. If I had one minus two gm on c squared r in the very small case, but a better approximation is to put a plus term in there, and you'll see that as this is very small, one over one minus something very small is roughly one plus that very small amount. All right. And so that when the new line element is written out, then the space time interval or line element becomes this object here, whereas before I had a minus. Everything else in the video then stays the same. It carries on. So just on slide nine of the original and then the original, then we carry on in this way with the killing vectors and so on. And we come to some uh, understanding of uh, the space time around a rotating mass. And that's what we end up with. And that's that.